More showers and some of them turning heavy could be the order of the day across parts of Trinidad. And obviously with the landslips and street or flash flooding possible, you should definitely take necessary precautions as you head out and about. Uh, most of that activity, all part of the tropical wave, should eventually clear through the latter half of the day, leaving us with some settled conditions by nightfall. But before then, a lot for those showers to come through, especially across the hillsides of Tobago. There's a potential for landslips or landslides there. Also along the north coast of Trinidad, we've seen a couple of those at landslips recently, and the ground being saturated in some of those areas could well be seeing some of those occurring as you go through your Friday. For the rest of Trinidad, through Port of Spain into Piaco, looking for a scattering of showers that could turn heavy or thundery. In some of those downpours, gusty winds are expected. So be mindful of that, especially if you are heading out towards the east coast of Trinidad and along the Manzanilla and Miara roads. Temperature-wise, looking at a comfortable 31 degrees Celsius today, as we know higher than 30 in a Tobago. And offshore, those uh, easterly winds could be getting up to 20 knots. Looking at choppy spells, out in the Caribbean, 2.5 meters here, and east northeast of these spells remaining short at 9 seconds as we go through the day. Now, what will the weekend hold? Well, it seems as though following that tropical wave, we'll begin to see some Saharan dust beginning to make its way into Trinidad and Tobago, possibly by late on a Sunday and going into a Monday. And that should be the order of the day across both Trinidad and Tobago once we leave those showers behind on Saturday. So that's your weather and that's it for me.